What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this super quick video, I'll be showing you how you can render a video with a transparent background in After Effects. It's actually super simple. In this quick video, I'll be giving you an example using my intro here, which starts with a black screen, and then shortly after, it fades out. Let's say we want this fade out section here to be transparent, and it'll show the video underneath. If I add my current wallpaper, move it to the bottom, you'll see that the entire video is completely transparent. I'll add a new solid that's simply just black, and we'll add it at the second layer and get it to fade out, let's say here. So T for opacity, I'll mark it, and moving a bit forwards, we'll get it to fade out to zero. We'll move it to maybe here, and we'll make it fade out a bit earlier. That way we can see the effect more strongly. All right, let's go ahead and render this video out with a transparent layer that doesn't include a background, of course. If we hit Control M to add this to the render queue, I'll clean it up a little, Control M, you can see it's added here. What we need to do is expand it and choose Output Module here, click this, and it'll pull up some settings. The first thing you need to do is make sure that under Channels, you're able to choose RGB plus Alpha. For this, you won't be able to use H.264. Instead, you'll need to use something like QuickTime, which does support an Alpha layer. When you choose this option, it'll be changed to Millions of Colors Plus, which is plus Alpha, and that's that. You don't really need to do anything more. Simply just hit OK, choose an output file, then simply send it off to render. That's it. You've now successfully exported a video with a transparency layer. If we drop that into Premiere, for example, just like that, you'll see that the video starts off with a black background and fades away to show our video underneath it. It's working exactly as we would have hoped. There is another way that we can do this if you absolutely need to use H.264 instead. If we choose to export, we can choose from the options menu H.264, RGB, and render out the video once so we can get the foreground, and we can send the same video off to render once more. This time, from the dropdown, we'll choose Alpha. This video will only have what is supposed to be transparent and what's not. I'll call a normal video, just intro, and the alpha video, intro alpha. Doesn't really matter though. We'll render both of these, and when these are both done, you'll see that the first video has the background included all the way through, and the second video is just a pure white screen that, at the end, slowly fades to show only what is visible in white. In Premiere, we can add our video which has the background included all the way through, and on top of it, we can add the alpha layer as such. Obviously, we can't see through it just yet, so choose the foreground. From the effects panel, we'll be searching for matte, and we'll be adding the track matte key to our video with the background. Then, on the matte, simply choose the layer that your alpha video is in, mine is video 3, and now you'll see that the white disappears. However, we still need to set composite using from matte alpha to matte luma, and now, just like that, when we scroll through, you'll see that the background fades out, as we hope it's now successfully using our alpha video to create the alpha alpha channel as well. If we place all of them in a folder, you'll notice that the video with the separate alpha layer takes up around 1 meg. The video with an alpha background included takes about 33, or even 35. That's why you may want to use this case instead of the second one rendering with a completely new layer, as it saves you a ton of drive space, especially for really long overlays, videos, etc. And in some cases, it may even be cheaper if you have powerful graphics hardware, but slower hard drives that these files are sitting on. That way you can benefit more from the small file size rather than the bigger file size with the alpha layer baked in. So that's really it. Hopefully you found this video useful, if not educational. Thank you for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.